If you're still using Windows 10, it may be in your future to upgrade to Windows 11. Now, we made a video going over all the reasons why a couple months ago, but in this video, we're just going to go over specifically what you need to get from 10 to 11 and how to get there. Starting off, system requirements. Windows 11 requires specific hardware in order to operate, and I'm gonna put a chart up on screen of what it requires. If you see a few categories here and you feel like you exceed them, you should be good to go. But if you don't know, don't worry. PC Health Checker has a tool within it that will let you know whether or not your PC is compatible with Windows 11. One of the most common issues folks have when trying to upgrade to Windows 11, especially when it looks like all of their hardware meets the requirements, is TPM 2.0. Luckily, there's a way to enable this in your BIOS. In order to get to your BIOS, you're gonna have to reboot your computer and while it's booting up, mash away at either your F2 key or your delete key. This is different from motherboard to motherboard, one of those two keys should work, but if it doesn't, you may need to look up for your specific motherboard what your BIOS hotkey is. Once you're in your BIOS, you're going to want to use your keyboard to navigate, specifically your arrow keys, your enter key, and your escape key. Now, this process is a little bit different from motherboard to motherboard, BIOS to BIOS, but right now we're going to go over how to do it for an ASUS motherboard. The BIOS on the Z690 ASUS motherboard will also let us use the mouse and search bar, but we're going to navigate manually so you can follow along. I'll also provide alternate names to each setting, just in case yours is named differently. Enter advanced mode slash settings. Navigate to security slash advanced. Navigate to trusted computing and hit enter. Navigate to security device support and then hit enter you'll need to select Enable, and then hit Enter. Hit Escape, locate Save and Exit, and save your changes. That's it on TPM. You should be able to upgrade to Windows 11, given that your hardware is up to snuff. Okay, meat and potatoes. How to upgrade to Windows 11. Before you begin, you're going to want to back up all of your files. Now, when you upgrade to Windows 11, all of your files and applications are going to be there. But this is just an extra measure to take as a precaution if anything goes sideways. All right, starting off, click on the Windows button, select Settings, then Update and Security. You can also simply type Windows Update in the search field. You should be able to see if you can update to Windows 11 at the top of this page. It'll be a large download. If Windows Updater doesn't provide you with a method to download or install Windows 11, you may have to go to Microsoft's website and download the Windows 11 Install Assistant, which is really just the Windows 11 installer. After the download, it'll verify the files and begin the install, after which it will restart in 30 minutes of waiting. Or you can click Restart Now to start immediately. Believe it or not, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If your PC can't upgrade to Windows 11, but you don't want to take any risks, you can give us a call with the number on screen, or visit us on our website, and we'll tailor make a PC to meet exactly your needs with Windows 11. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Marcus, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.